Start with the Cauldron Scion shenanigans. I've been looking forward to this list. I hope it's going to be better than it looks. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like a very good deck. But if I can get my Devoted Druid Hexproof, it'll all be worth it. I'm going to keep this in regret, aren't I? I like how it never says Dingo. It's like, Dingo. Thank you for the 19 month Spartan. I appreciate it greatly. Give her pass, I guess. Mountain Bolt. Do I run out the Devoted Druid? Yes, so. Imagine it's going to eat a uh, Bolt or Serum Blaze. Prismatic ending. I'm going to put it in the graveyard because we have Soul Cauldron in the hand. I don't know what they're playing. I thought they were playing Burn, but I don't think they're playing Burn. I'm just going to run out the Soul Cauldron over the Vizier. Because now that I know I have Scion on top, oh, they're playing Creativity. It's a shame Torborg just left. Yeah, Boros Fury Ephemerate. Don't Creativity me, I'll die. I think I have another Surveil Land. Yeah, I don't. Let's get an overgrown tomb then. Tyvar. Tyvar is interesting. The minus get back devoted druid, float two mana. I think I'm gonna wait on that. Yeah, if I top deck Ballista, we win for sure. I think I'm just gonna make this Scion a devoted druid probably. <laughs> So that way I can generate infinite mana with a Vizier. Discards Archon. Doesn't seem like they're on the Jun variant, given the Sacred Foundry. So, I don't know if there's a ton I have to worry about. I guess I also have the Soul Cauldron if they do a Persist. <clears throat> also, excuse me, chat. My throat is, like, messed up today. I think it's those allergies. It's been raining here for the past couple of days. Allergies finally getting to me. No attacks. Alright, I'm gonna eat this Devoted Druid. No tournaments? Uh, the last thing that happened, I guess, was I... Top 4 the challenge, or top 8 of the challenge yesterday. We ended up losing the quarters. It was good, though. I had no qualms with it. Um, Vizier, Nate Lime Binding, gonna take out the Soul Cauldron. Soul Cauldron. Put another counter here. I don't think I'm gonna make a mana either. Not take a random point of damage. It's a big Draco. Very big Draco. Hey Slayer. Another Tyvar. Well. I think it is better than Grinding Breach. It's easier to assemble than Grinding Breach. That's for sure. There's a lot less moving pieces. And you're susceptible to a lot less hate as well. Oh, 
Luxure or the Cauldra. I think I'm going to take the Cauldra. Binding for a million mana. Taking out the Ley Line. I'm going to give this pro red. I guess if I didn't return the Stoneforge Mystic, then I could have just killed them with the Soul Cauldron. Instead, they go to one now. Just said no with Tyvar. Huh. Yeah, that was my mistake. Alright, they didn't draw creativity, so I didn't get punished, but that was not a great play by me. <laughs> Take these thoughts, uses for sure. Take your poison. Well, the Grinding Breach uses, like, an artifact, an enchantment, and the graveyard. And I think that means it's susceptible to a lot of different hate, right? Even if they are a non-creature. Whereas using just two enchantments plus a creature is, like, typically easier just because they're cheaper and they have utility outside of being combo pieces. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a lot of cards that are bad on their own. Where it's like DRC is not bad on its own. Enhanced Surveillance is fine on its own. It's probably the weakest part. And then Breach is still good on its own too. Oh, what do I want to board out here? Maybe Grist? I don't think Grist is very good against creativity. Nor do I think Cauldra is that good. So maybe I take out a Stoneforge Mystic as well. I trim on Soul Cauldron. Take Leyline Draco out. Taking out Leyline Draco, I think I'm going to bring in Fulminator Mage. I would leave these in and then maybe Surgeon. What's up, Wes? We're going to play Sam's Merfolk list later. Um, sounds a little tough. I think if it's more than one land, I would snap this off, but I'm going to mulligan it. We can do things and stuff with this hand. Oh, I have Surge up for a little bit, but I think that's okay. Now we pray they don't have Renin 6. Yeah, it is a lot closer to stock fair breach while also just having like a random combo kill. And that's cool. If they kill this, I'm not too worried because I have Tyvar and Eladomri's call. I guess I care if they lay line binding. Put it in the graveyard. Do they can unban twin? No. Not with force and negation. I think I'd be a okay on not seeing force and negation twin ever. I don't think it's worth it to fulminator them. Another devoted druid in play and hope that it sticks. These surges have been a little awkward. I don't really have an opportunity to hold them up. At least not without doing something productive. Five are down. Me down. I'll take the damage. Creativity X2. Okay, I have died. Uh, do I want this Rex Age? It's kind of a tough sell. So is Fulminator, though. 
I think Fulminator's good with Soul Cauldron, though. Maybe I want to over it pick your poison. Creativity, Prismatic, ending Ren and Six, Ren and Six. I guess I'm taking Creativity. Tough hand. Ivar. On Temple Garden. I'm gonna play Devoted Druid with Surge up. I gotta probably try to pending it. I get the Surge. Try to hit some other combo pieces. Here's Ren and Six. I don't think a second Devoted Druid is part of the combo pieces, unfortunately. Deciding not to cast Prismatic Ending? They kind of have to, right? Are oh, they going to cast second Ren and Six? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Full cauldron. I think we tie our minus. That's Stoneforge Mystic. <clears throat> Stoneforge Mystic. If I get Lux here, that's infinite mana. But I have no win con. It's more likely to happen. But I think I can top deck a win condition. I suppose we could try. So if they ping Ren and Six on Tyvar, I'm gonna give Devoted Druid protection from White so they can't prismatic ending it. They prismatic ending Stoneforge Mystic, I'm not that sad. Or I guess I could give this pro white and then let them do that. If they do that, I just eat it with cauldron anyways. I think I'm gonna preserve the devoted druid to the best of my ability. Gonna hope the top deck a win con. Mana. The fairy. Protection from white was a good idea. Ballista. Soul cauldron. I can't really play this out. Not having a creature in the graveyard is kind of awkward. And take out the Ren. I think the Ren is more impactful. And it's a fairy. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. I could just eat the land that they target with Ren and Six. Fairy also allows for instant speed prismatic ending. Maybe that's really bad for me as well. What are we looking at? A 2 3 deck, probably. What? Angry Gods? And thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. What? Why are the gods so angry? Ah, shit, dude. Gonna eat my soul cauldron as well. Alright, well, I didn't play around Anger the Gods. Who knew? A lot of soul cauldrons. I just have to dodge creativity for the next forever. The third Ren and Six, yep. You wouldn't creativity me now, would you, opponent? 
attack me for one. No, Ballista. Pretty good. Let's equip three. If it lives, they die. Live, Ballista, live. I guess they can bounce it back to my hand. Was Gorya's Vengeance? I streamed a lot of Gorya's Vengeance prior to leaving for Hunter Burton. So I'm kind of taking a break to stream some other decks now. <laughs> Angie Cute. Like it. Angie Cute. Bounces the Soul Cauldron. What you did, Devoted Druid. You have bounced my Soul Cauldron. This is going to be a close one. Game. Hmm. We're playing Mono Black Scam today. Not quite coffers, but pretty damn close to coffers. I think they might be dead. Maybe, maybe. Doomwake, thank you for the giant raid as well. Holy schmoly, that's a lot of raids. I appreciate it. Put a minus one, minus one counter on Devoted Druid. Untap Devoted Druid. Equip the thing that makes infinite mana. Uh, put a minus one, minus one counter on it. But does this not work? Plus one, plus one for each counter on it. Oh, it doesn't work. Whip longbow and you're good? I don't think this works. Does it? Not yet. But this doesn't work. The tragedy. Alright, well, I think we messed this up. I did not realize that this doesn't work. Yeah, because the way Devoted Druid works is it gets a minus one, minus one counter, but because Ballistas comprise solely of plus one, plus one counters, they cancel each other out. So it doesn't work on Ballista. That's so sad. And here I was thinking that they were dead. Stupid sexy ballista costing me the game. What's my out here? It's like Tyvar. Tyvar minus into like literally any creature. Okay, we learned a valuable lesson this match. Is that maybe we should put a Dryad Arbor in here, but also you can't put Devoted Druid on Walking Ballista and combo off that way. I didn't consider this when deck building. I played Yogg last night. If you uh, want to check out the VOD of the challenge, we ended up 4-3. Probably could have done better if I had uh, played a little bit tighter at the end, but probably 5-2. Lost to creativity twice. Shadowy Backstreets, dumps in a truck, so I've lost. I think that's just straight cheating. Prismatic ending. I'm gonna call for Devoted Druid. Yes, so. 
Chances they have no interaction are so small, though. Or Devoted Druid being so slow in this new modern format. Puts one card on top. Like a Devoted Druid. Chances of survival have to be like 0%. There's no way. Live, devoted druid, live. Alright, well, devoted druid lived, but I didn't. Endurance, endurance. Thoughtseize. Like Haywire is that good in the matchup? You probably cut Haywire, Cauldra, Stoneforge, Mystic because they're a Solitude deck, and like probably Grist as well. Fulminator Mage might be good. If we can Fulminator Cauldron. It's gonna cut like a Leyline in the Scion. And it's kind of awkward. Let's Mulligan it. Keep this one, put back Giver, show you my guild pact. I showed you my guild pact, please respond. They didn't have any pregame actions to respond with. For shame. For shame, for shame. I kind of think the Giver might be overkill with Zion. Because once I have... Scion out. I really don't need this giver anymore. So maybe this is better off as a mana dork or something. I did not mean to crack that fetch. Oh, we're here now. Gonna surveil with it later. Yeah, any one drop to play around Edicts is nice. And also, it not having, like, one toughness is an added bonus. Because I was thinking about Birds of Paradise in this list. But I think Birds of Paradise is probably just worse. And Halfling is, like, kind of awkward with Eladomri Skull. Left the Soul Cauldron around. This surprises me, I guess. Yeah, time for Three Raven Inspector to make its comeback. That plan. It's your grief, put it on Scion. You could Chad Scion. I'm gonna surveil with Lush Portico here. I think I leave Thoughtseize on top. My plan is just to win with these idiots. Oh, I want a Noble Hierarch that taps for Abzan mana. And a Gnomal Hierarch that taps for Abzan mana would be so sick. Or an upgraded Rattleclaw Mystic that's like one mana. Oh yeah, I want to try the Fulminators, that's right. Fulminator in those out. I was so hyped for Rattleclaw Mystic and I was like, all oh, two mana. So sad. Been go working for the WotC balance team in two years. Yeah, let's make the teamer ignoble hierarch a one two for one. Let's see you at the top, chat. <laughs> I'll probably keep this hand, right? I think I'm gonna put back probably fulminator. Could put back leyline though. Let's put back leyline and just keep like this hateful hand. It's so hateful. Godly Shrine, maybe?
Ephemerate Gorios Atroxa March. I'm gonna take March. I have the Endurance in my hand and I have Soul Cauldron. I picked the Atroxa. Atroxa is the best card in their hand. Surveils an Atroxa into the graveyard. I'm gonna vomit. Alright, don't grief me. They grief me pitching Atroxa, I have lost the game. Alright, Castor Gorios. Castor Gorios, I endurance them. And Soul Cauldron carries me, hopefully. Go, Endurance, go. What's up, Curb Bros? Is Jay Sanchez thinking of the eight months? I don't know why the alert didn't go off. But I appreciate it. Grief ephemerate me. We'll have no more hand. By hand. Been real. I guess I should probably eat this Gorios out of the graveyard. Is that way tainted indulgence isn't just a draw too? Here's the notification. Somebody's asleep on the job over there. Oh, I can grab Cauldra. I don't have Cauldra in the deck. I'll grab Longbow, I guess. Whatever I'm grabbing is going to get griefed. I think the Longbow is probably worse. I also just grab nothing. Fail to find. The longbow is a pretty dead draw at this point in the game. I'm going to start by eating Giver of Runes. Ballista. S. Where's this audio coming from? Audio. Hmm. Phantom Twitch head, let's go. It's adapting. I think Twitch might be having some issues right now. Archaeologist is fine. Bins mending, mending, solitude grief. I'm going to eat both of the mendings. Take the damage, that's bait. That's bait to not get me to eat both of these mendings. But I'm eating both of them. Otherwise I could go block, block, and then pump the Stoneforge Mystic. Kind of also just taking him off of blue. But if I take him off of blue, then I have n no board state left anymore. These things you shouldn't, as a nervous habit, same. Thinking Tron, I agree. Tron's a good one. Leyline, Scion, and True Name Nemesis. Gorios. You'll see, think of the 16 months. Lantern would still be bad, unfortunately. I know the truth hurts. Painted indulgence. Draws two discards, flooded strand. 
I appreciate the 16 months, though. Welcome back. Prismatic ending. Sad. I'll eat grief for solitude instead. I could blow up their blue sources, but then I have no board state. I'm okay with having no board state. Am I going to die to this archaeologist? Uh, pop. Stoneforge Mystic isn't really doing anything. Might be wrong. They didn't even attack the archaeologist. Call for a scion. Calling for scion's pretty sweet. 1-800 Big Draco. Think that's the number you gotta call? It's all coming together. <laughs> Just like we drew it up. And now I draw the ley line, right? Okay. More Dracos, more problems. Is your remedies the perfect top deck? Well, I don't know if we're actually going to combo kill anybody this league, but if we're just winning with Draco beatdowns, maybe there's something here for Eladomri's call for Draco. Much easier than trying to quarter call him for Draco out of Yogmoth, that's for sure. I could die here if they just like overload a dam. That'd be tough. Supreme Verdict. Yeah, Call for Draco is pretty much Gorya's Atroxa. Huh? They're getting a tapped shadowy backstreets. They had Gorya's in hand. His hand's pretty gas. Can't cast Scion right now, but... I guess maybe this Lush Portico is pretty bad, dude. I can't go one, two. Leave that on top. I don't think we're playing Leyline Scion in the mono black deck. I think it's control, too. I'm going to try the four Liliana of the Veil. Yeah, slash portico didn't look great. Prevented me from casting giver on one. I gave up on the mission too quick. Oh, don't worry. We have like 80 more days until Modern Horizons 3 comes out. You'll be seeing a lot of Leyline Draco. I promise. I've seen an influx of prismatic ending recently too. I'm putting it in Scion. Or you're, I'm putting it into creativity. Try and stop me. Nobody's stopping you. Play Stoneforge Mystic. We'll get Longbow. S. Maybe they tap out for something garbage. Like a Narset, and then they die. That'd be a cool timeline. That's a 
certainly a block of text. I got an Asthma Roots deck. I added one of Safi Eric's daughter too, so I can combo for infinite root tokens by putting Safi under Soul Cauldron and then have Bowmaster ping himself over and over again using the armor to bring back Safi's ability. Deck already had 443 of Roots Bowmaster Cauldron, so it takes one single slot to add the combo line. Not sure if the combo has any overlapping utility with your current brew you're playing. I don't think Safi does off the top of my head. I know the new Safi had some cool synergies with like Solitude, so it would bring it back. As for old Safi, I don't think so. Um, give her pass. I think my opponent's just playing four color and they're not playing blue white. I have a better four color matchup than blue white. It could be on counter spell still. Buys Kahira. He devoted Druid. Vizier. Hey, Frank, thank you for the 25. Cook barely link it up in chat. You stuck a ley line sign in the elves. Good call. Ley line druid elves. The mere scam troll. Bet say less. Altitude. Solitude pitching ephemerate. I can at least cast Draco. I can cast Draco and Longbow. That's enough quote unquote infinite mana for me. I guess I'll make a couple more. Rip Waffle. Too soon. Too soon for that man to stop streaming. Oh, they didn't salted in response to Vizier. Concedes? That was cool. Um, Rex Age, Thoughtseize. Might actually need all this. I got a giver. Or like that. I don't know if my opponent's playing Leyline Scion. It's hard to know with these four color decks. I guess they're not, right? If they have Kahira. Yeah, I don't think they are. Forgot about Kahira. Um, ah, jeez. We have one layer of the Hydra. We do, we do. A Godless Shrine and Thought sees them. I 
Rest in peace, Leyline Binding, Teferi. I'm gonna take Teferi. Jam, rest in peace. I can pick their poison and then... I guess I can't lush Portico and pick their poison. Grab Longbow and pass. You're gonna Binding Stone Forge? Yep. I feel like my opponent's firing off these removal spells a little bit too soon. I like to sacrifice an enchantment. Sacrifices rest in peace. Just a Risen Reef. If they don't have Solid, dude, they're dead. This land binding. I think they know I have the entire combo in my hand. Alright, cool. They're dead. I could be holding W right now to speed this up. Hey, Thorborg, thank you for the 25 as well. It's me. I'm ready to lose some play points. I keep this hand. I guess we're going to wait on Merfolk until tomorrow then. We'll start tomorrow with Merfolk. But I do want to play the Mono Black Scam still. We'll do the two Dono decks, and if we have time, we'll do the Mono Black Scam. Um, I guess lead on Godless Shrine. Leyline, Scion, Cody, Craziness. I guess we've gone up in the number of rings. Love to see that. Godless Shrine tapped. I think I'm playing Stoneforge Mystic. I have a Triome. I have a Ketria Triome. I can't get it off of Marsh Flats. But I can get it off of uh, Verdant Catacombs and Windswept Teeth. Enabler in my hand. I think I'm just gonna get a longbow. I guess I need to use this ballista to kill Ragavan. Yeah, the one click is so that way you can click yourself and put the primal surge back on the bottom after I draw it every single time. Well, maybe I need to play click and creativity. Sure, you creativity and to click a certain amount of times, but at least I can put my archons back into my deck. <laughs> Nah, a fire prophecy would be way better. I think I just jam longbow, jam ballista. My counter spell ballista. Ragavan's just gonna crush me. I can't draw Oracle either. Oh boy. You're asking a lot, Torborg. We already got our two wins for this league, so... Everything after this is a cherry on top. Burning catacombs. 
Oh no, with the Savai Triome. Gabu. I need exactly one more land. That'd be very cool. Bows busted as a limited card. I don't even think it's that good of a limited card. Striking Ragavan. Doomed. Completely invalidated Grist. I need to get lucky with Tyvar. I mean, Tyvar even resolves. Alright, Hydra Belt. I think I need pick your poison. Plague crafter might be fine. Don't really care for I guess Grist is fine. Just upsetty that Grist like immediately got invalidated by one scion. So upsetty. I like Cauldra's like not even good in the meta anymore. I think I got Stoneforge Mystic. Got the one Plague Crafter in it. It's hand so mediocre. We'll get Triome and then we'll get Godly Shrine. Is that a one? A cage. Modern Staple Plague Crafter. I was looking for an answer to Leyline's High on stuff. This was like the first thing. It was just one of the best things I could find for creatures. Which is just kind of sad. But you can cord an Eladomri's call into it. So maybe it finds a home in Yogmoth. I kind of doubt it. Our decks with an infinite loop playable and modern, I have a Golgari deck which uses Lala Troll to discard at will. Oval Chase Daredevil returns a card from your hand when artifact comes to play, and Chalk Outline generates artifacts when a creature leaves the graveyard. Potentially using Mythro Coat for the initial trigger since it has Flash. So the thing about infinite triggers on Moto is that they don't really work. They do, but they don't. It needs to have some sort of an end to it, otherwise it draws the game. So if your infinite combo has no way of stopping it, like no May abilities, then that's just not gonna work. Goodbye, Tyvar. Yeah, if the Oval Chase has you May, then you should be fine to play it online. Are my mediocre beats. As the opponent's mana base failed them. Seems like their mana base may have failed them. I think I might keep this plague grafter. If I need to cast it next turn, don't buy any the Draco. My Draco. My poor, poor Draco. Oh, combo's on the table. Dies to on the table combo. 
Fulminator Mage might be pretty cool in the matchup, too. Is this too many Pick Your Poisons? Might be like one too many Pick Your Poisons. Even one Fulminator, in case I need to like... Hello Domri's call for Fulminator. Which is probably not going to be very often. I was planning on trying that today, King Wizard. At the end of the stream. We got two more decks to do first, and then if we have time, we'll get to that one. Love me a good Fulminator. And yeah, it's not bad. It's got Gusto. Not playing FOV against Leyline, Leyline Scion. I don't think it's... I don't think Force of Vigor is very good against Leyline Scion. Because you can only hit one of the two, right? If they play multiple Ley Lines, then you can hit it. Sure. But two for winning yourself to kill a single Ley Line is really bad. I think more often they're going to have just one instead of two. Leyline is good in combination with Scion of Draco. Because it gives your entire team Hexproof, Vigilance, Lifelink, First Strike, and Trample. I didn't do anything on turn 1 or turn 2. Well, they're also not going to open up Guild Pack every game, right? It's not like that deck is designed to mulligan 2 Guild Pact. Some of the zoo lists are designed to mulligan to guild pack, but this deck just plays like a fair game. If they happen to have guild pack, then it's just they happen to have it, right? Figure poison is just so much more efficient here. Devoted Druid, go. One on top. I'm gonna let this get binding because I have the other picker poison in hand. Hmm. I get swamp or plains. Make them sacrifice an enchantment. Get this back. Thank you. And then Tyvar. Aced up devoted druid. Soul cauldron. Get back, give her pass. Can also eat Scion here. Put a plus one plus one counter on Devoted Druid. Or give her. See what they left on top here also. Kind of curious. It might be like a Merc item. Give me sacrifice an artifact. I'm gonna eat their Scion of Draco. Put a counter on Devoted Druid. I buy Soul Cauldron. Plays Leyline in the Guild Pack, sure. Grace Steam. Chris Plus Giver. I 
An attack with Giver and then untap Giver. That'd be my turn. And these Givers can protect each other and protect Devoted Druid. Kavu's not Scion. I'm happy about that. Second Kavu, also not Scion. Land. I guess I'm going to start by surveilling. But I probably need to Gris Minus. Take out the Kavu. One of the two. I put call on top. And next turn, I can plus grist minus Tyvar. Just like this thing doesn't have trample yet. I'm gonna discard a card. This card's flooded strand. Action from red. Build Viridian Longbow, which is kind of sad. Minus this Tyvar. Back another Giver. I don't know if I'm just supposed to go get my Mana Sink at this point. What do I have in here to get? Ooh, Plague Crafter. Plague Crafter doesn't seem terrible. Sack Insect for Kaboom. My super secret tech. Attack you for one. Bliss was better though. I think getting the Kabu off the table is going to be important, though. Another one. You for four. Untap my giver. I think I'm just going to pass. Not quite sure what I want yet. Finding Gris, maybe? Yep. I'm just going to untap. A line a la guild pack. I can untap this. Nah, Draco's gonna be too much mana. No, I guess Draco's only two mana, right? Never mind, I lied. Untap, tap, green, white, a la Domri's call. Get Draco. Untap, devoted druid. They said Draco. Draco, no. Two, three, four. I'm just going to send team. I'm just sending team. Puts them to one. I think they virtually have no outs after that. Yeah, Tyvar should bring back Sion. I agree. Alright, well, we're 3-1 chat, so it's prediction time. Versus.
Yeah, not having untapped red sources sometimes because you like mill over them hurt. And I also think Ledger Shredder was bad. I think Ledger Shredder got a lot worse once Cascade bit the dust. There's Gigantha deck, so they might be on Zoo also. If I were to run it back, I would not play Ledger Shredder. Dragster. Would you play in spot? Probably more bolts. Or the 19th land. Maybe two lightning bolts in the 19th land. Wild Nactol. I'm gonna get the Triome in case they blow up Ley Line and remove Ley Line somehow. I don't think Ragavan's that good right now. But I definitely felt like more spot removal is kind of necessary for the Bowmaster matchups. Which is what we lost to in the challenge. We lost to the Rack Bowmaster deck. I kind of just felt like I wanted more spot removal in that matchup. Draco's. I don't probably has no idea what we're playing. Based off of this start, I re wouldn't really know either if I were across the table. They couldn't beat it though. Grab a Rexage or pick your poisons. Shielded, acted, thriving, unbothered, and with hexproof. Living my best life. Stoneforge Cauldra has consistently been pretty poor. It's a masterpiece. I think I want to play Crafter also. Come back, play Crafter. Double Tyvar, pick your poison. Take this hands mulligan. It's like almost not a mulligan. Because of the Beseju. But I'm just like Stone Cold Dead to return on Ragavan or anything like that. Yeah, it's much better. Just has the entire combo rolled up. 1-1 one, one, Nactyl. Maybe they just have no interaction. They're dead on three. That'd be cool. Would also be very cool, but it'd be pretty sick. Petra Triumph Godless Shrine. Druid Pass. Please don't kill my Druid. Yeah, I'll try to get to it before the end of today's stream. We got two donation decks to fit in between now and then, though. I think we can survive. Yeah, five. We need to untap with the creature. Which I don't think we can. Block. Edge. I haven't tried it in burn yet. But trying in burn is just going to be... Wait, what? 
Did I get de-sideboarded? I got de-sideboarded. Madge. How did I get de-sideboarded? I imagine it's gonna be like Zoo. Who X the Ley Lines? Be cool if I had to pick your poison. Yeah, they played around the haywire my elf. Yeah, you definitely play tribal flames, right? Like not even a question. Tribal flames instant include. Yeah, I could have killed it, but since I have the Haywire Might, I decided not to kill it. But yeah, I can put minus one, minus one counters in response. Like to call for a vizier. Oh boy, it's time to hold W chat. W for our W. Does it show me anything? Hey. Shout out to the opponent for actually scooping. Said it made me click through it. Well, we 4 1. Congratulations to the 50,000 point believers. Big dub. You're Egyptian American too? Hell yeah. Both of us SoCal Egyptian boys. What's up, TJ? Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>